wickedness on us, bro. Have patience. Right. Have a little patience, man. Just, just focus on the Lord and have some patience. Because we know when they're in this. So just, just to back up what he was just saying about you other nations not being a part of this second covenant. He said that he would not to teach they, uh, they, they neighbors and their brothers no more. This is Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. We will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's an end time prophecy. Right. Matter of fact, after the, past the, in the last days, it's right there. That's right. After the Savior already came back, all nations gonna be having to worship under these law, statutes, and commandments. They're gonna be able to be over there worshiping Buddha and all these false gods, white Jesus, and all these gods. No, everybody gonna have to be. They're gonna be being judged by the law of the Bible. You know, men gonna have to wear beards. They're gonna have to. You know, they're gonna have to like uh, go by the dietary law. We can't be eating uh, unclean food in our kingdom. And if not, they're going to get judged. They're going to get put under that show that they ain't going to have the new covenant in them. Nope. They're not going to have that, that, that program. And that's the reason why the Lord said, if the nations uh, don't worship me, you know, that we're going to, you know, basically right. beat, we're gonna beat them down. We read it earlier in Luke. Uh, to them that would not yeah. that allow me to reign over them, break up before me. That's right. Yeah. 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 When, you, when you look at the exclusivity that says, they say they won't teach their brothers or they won't teach their neighbors. It really makes you question, well, who is our neighbor? Who is our brother? You know what I'm saying? Because the nations ain't included in that part. That's exactly what they say. We got to love our neighbors. Right. These are my neighbors. These are my neighbors. Right. But then your brothers are the ones who are willing to have these problems. They work. We were commanded not to oppress whatever the stranger among us because we were strangers in different lands. But we didn't say we got to love them like that. But in the kingdom, all of this real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Right. And, uh, she said, uh, Peter. Second Peter 3, verse 12. Like you know, Look, uh, verse 11. Seeing that then all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person I seem to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for hasting into the coming of the day of the Lord, the day of the Most High, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall be felt. Reverend he, neither less, the point, neither less we, according to his promise, look for new heaven and a new earth, more as well as righteousness. So, hey man, endure the wickedness, endure that, all the struggles that we go through, all the stuff that you go through from day to day, you know, all the wickedness you done been through, man, endure that. Because at the end of the day, we know what we're waiting on. And we know what these other nations the end is going to be. So you waiting on the kingdom, man. Get right with the Father and have some patience. Hebrews 13, Hebrews 13, verse 14, reads him. For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. Right. So we don't have no continuous city here in America, man. Hey, what Michael, get Michael 2 and 10? Hey, because Michael, Michael told us that this place would uh, destroy us you know, with a sore destruction, man. Right. I mean, this place is greatly polluted, and it will destroy you with a sore destruction. Because of the ways of Babylon the Great. Now I got something going in what we talk about as far as the kingdom. Um, Romans 11, 25. Why well, would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Now let's explain that. Because blindness happened to us. We got uh, taken our heritage taken away from us, right? But the most high waiting for all the Israelites all over the earth to wake up. And then, and those of those Gentiles, the Israelites would call themselves after other names. Because in the Holy Land, we knew who we were. In the other captivities, we knew who we were. But in this captivity, what we call ourselves. There it is on here. Yeah. African American, yeah. black people, <laughs> West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, right? Continuing on, and it says, And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, and I shall take away their sin. All those possessive pronouns, man. All those possessive pronouns. This ain't for everybody. This, this, is, this is a family book, man. Like, like right. we all the time. It's a family book. That's a family matter. These are family matters. Right. 
Can I get a precept to back up about the Gentiles and the Israelites? First Corinthians 12 verse 1, because this is how we became Gentiles, all right? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So the different captivities that we were led under, led astray, we were led astray from our, 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 our true power, man, okay? We were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. We, start, we stopped following the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, our men stopped shaving off their beards, yep. getting bald heads, eating pork, right? Forcing when he's done an idol, they stopped following what? The true power. That's the main idol, right here, right? All over the earth, the main idol that people worship, even though the Bible says, you know, you look like Breakdown of who this guy really is in the world, that's who they wonder at. They wonder at this guy right here. You know? so just the fact that grow up, they say you were carried away. To be carried away, you have to already be there first. You know what I'm saying? We were carried, we were Gentiles carried away. Carried away from what? Law of the Commandments, our true heritage. Wow. Grandma! And, and, and backing that point up. Paul is talking what to his brethren, his kinsmen, according to the flesh, which are Israelites. Those are the main chapters. And Paul is writing to his different brothers that was scattered all over, okay? Now, in, in this particular, speaking to the Israelites that were weird, and Corinth Greece. Okay? We got James 1, let's pray for yourself. That's the scripture says, let's pray for yourself. This is the book of James 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God, or the Most High, and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, read it. The whole book of James to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. The whole New Testament is to the Israelites scattered throughout the earth. That's who it's to, the Gentiles as the word. Matter of fact, go now to Acts 2. You know, read, read that. Acts 2 started on. I guess you can start at another chapter 2. Okay. Acts chapter 2. Yeah. And uh. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start at 5. We're going down. Acts 2. I said Verse that five. if you pray in groups, you're actually stronger. Yeah, you're interrupting the word. Okay. No, I'm just saying. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. We'll appreciate it. Right. 
So it's a reason I'm going to allow her to be in that state. And we're going to read through why she's doing that too. But first read that one because she mentioned 16 and 4. Psalm 16 and 4. Read that one. Just throw the drink on the brother. Well, See, guess what? You know what? Take it. Uh, uh, count the joy. Pray hey, it. Count the joy. Praise y'all about some y'all shot. And this is supposed to happen. You know? You know, even though we don't like the brother got hit, but this is supposed to happen because that shows that we're doing the right thing. Right. Right. And this is what happened to the true men of the Lord, man. Okay. And they was going to sing. This is what happened. And people wanted to really harm us when people threaten us all the time. They do all types of man crazy stuff. Right. We know that we're doing the right thing. We're in the right spirit. Okay? So we're going to do it all good. Hey. That's how you can look. We know what the problem is with the scriptures. Right. You know, when you look at them, they have demons and living women coming up back and forth, talking their shit, throwing stuff at them. This ain't the first time somebody tried to throw jerks on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, that's, that's a small thing compared to man receiving eternal life. You know what I mean? So if you. It takes a different kind of person to come out here and to stand up and have some self-control. Because if I was a worthy dude, I would have had to go, I would have dealt with him. Yeah. But now, you gotta have some, you know, some patience. Yeah. Now I say this, he wouldn't have been wrong if he would have if he would have if he would have rendered, you know, yeah. he would have done something to it. But the scriptures say rendered not even evil, evil. You know what I'm saying? But it's all a hey, the spirit of the Lord came on him. Hey, and rose up and smote her, did hey, you know, he I mean he ain't gonna go kill the lady, but he could have, you know, either pulled something back on her, he could have downed her ass or whatever. Because even you know, you say that, you know, you're probably serving the Lord, you gotta be prepared for what you get. The thing is already plagued, man. So the Lord might plague like that thing. Of course, I don't get after her, she a homosexual, but no, you don't really like to do the dice. Uh, you gotta sell them for the that. out of your mouth. Now we do an application, but he also said that drink offerings of blood will I not well uh, read that part of this. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer. Right, their drink offerings of blood. What did they tell you in church? Take this communion, eat this wafer and drink this this this, this grape juice. And, and then and this, now when I went to the Baptist church they'll say it's symbolic. But in the Catholic church they say that it's actually the real blood and body of the Lord. Make you accountable. Yeah right Psalm 16, verse 4. Right. Their sorrow shall be multiplied and hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my list. Right. Now the brother got something he can do. That's it. And I'm for y'all too. Because the most I might have made that happen just so y'all can see. You know, the, 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 the stuff. Now we're going to read you why she did that. Got that Ephesians 6 and 10. Listen to this. That's the reason why that damn demon did that. Because like the scripture says in Job, whatever you have the sons of God come together, Satan is also among them. You know? So somebody gotta come up and show their damn folly, man. Yeah, Matthew 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, say. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Right. That was persecuted, whether you believe it or not. It's difficult for able-bodied men, right, to beat some shit down. It's hard for you to just take that. You don't even know you ain't getting nothing to it, you ain't bothering her. Gonna come up just down to with a damn drink, you know? Ahead, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you, boasting for my sake. Right. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, right. for great is your reward in heaven. 
right. He rejoices right now. Even though he pisses us off, you know. But it's more, it's less about us and more about the word. Like the scripture say, he shall increase and we, we have to decrease. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. That's right. See that? The ancient prophets did the worst thing than this. Have to stand out here and be helped by feeble people that's going to get destroyed anyway. You know? Prophets always do a lot, man. They got stones. And, uh, what's that in uh, uh, Hebrew? They talk about getting uh, sawed in half, stone, wandering destitute in sheep skin, then shipwrecked. Yeah, all time. Jonah got swallowed by a great fish, then vomited up. You know, all had to go, go uh, a day and a night in the deep, then shipwrecked, whatever. You got uh, Paul had, like you said, all that uh, bit by a snake, a fastened onto his head. He got beaten three times, thrown right. into a prison. Stephen got stoned because he was cut. Scripture. Yeah, he got upside down, and he got raised.